Hi friends, I'm back with the part 4 of Kiwi's story tutorial. So till now we have uh, developed uh, animations where our Kiwi runs and we kill the enemy by jumping on it and the animation happens. We have done the collectibles also. Uh, but so uh, in this new tutorial we are going to learn uh, like the bounce back animation happens, the knock back animation happens whenever we kill our enemy. So for example, I'll show you how it happens. So notice in this, our player, uh, whenever he hits the enemy, right, so there is a bounce back animation happens and a flash appears around this, our player. You can easily see and our player died so we're going to add this knockback mechanism today so let's start uh, how we're going to add it we'll go to our event sheet so till now we have coded all this and now we're going to add an event where our uh, player base on collision with our enemy okay and also we're going to add that while our enemies y we're going to compare y should be greater than it should be greater than our enemies image point that we created image point y that is uh, of center so it means that our player is not above enemy and he is trying to hit enemy from left or right so at that point of time what we're gonna do is we whenever our player hit the enemy we'll make our player bounce so for that we are going to add player base some y y vector we're gonna make it jump like this much whenever our, our player hits and we also want our player to move a bit with the force so what we're going to do we're going to put the acceleration a bit value like this and we're going to put a deacceleration of this value okay so this is going to happen whenever our player hits our enemy and now we can see what happens so our player goes and now it tries to hit okay our enemy is not knocked back as of now so it is trying to jump but we have to throw him uh, left or right away from our enemy okay so for that what we are going to do we are going to add a sub event and we are going to say if our player mask is mirrored so we're going to throw him uh, aside towards the x direction okay so our platform uh, vector i'm going to set it x i'm going to set it like 150 okay so it will move 150 pixels away from my player and if it is not mirrored then it going to move away in the opposite direction cool now let's see okay 
so we notice right now the knockback mechanism didn't happen because I think what we do not have is the center point so I'm going to create one center point here and I'm going to rename it center and I'm going to put it somewhere near here and I'm going to apply it to my all animation now let's go and check hey enemy come and hit me now we noticed it is hitting us back it is throwing us so this is the knockback mechanism cool so it is working now uh, okay now this is fine but we also noticed some uh, flashing used to happen some you know bright some uh, white color and these type of flashy things used to happen so we're going to add those flashy things here okay so for that let's do one thing collect this player mask we'll add effects I'm gonna add a brightness okay so the brightness is 100 right now so uh, what I'm going to do whenever my player hits the enemy okay I'm going to set the brightness 200% I can do this so the parameter was brightness and I'm going to put the value 200% I'm going to keep it just for a small point of time like 0 0.1 second and then I want to put it back to the normal state cool this sounds good uh, let's see what it does so my player is now going back it knocks back with a white flash but we have to do that flashy animation also so now we're going to add it go back to our player mask we're going to add a new behavior that is the flash cool so now we have added the flash behavior what we can do here is we can add this player mask to flash uh, yeah here is the flash I'm going to make it flash for a very short duration something like this something like this and I'm going to make it like infinite you can keep on doing it okay uh, but if I will keep on doing this it will flash like you know unlimited times I'll show you uh, where it will cause a problem for us now see the flashy thing happening it is happening continuously now I have to stop this right I have to stop this so for this what I'm going to do is when my player mask is flashing okay so I'm gonna wait for maybe one second and then I can make it stop flash now let's see see now it is working fine great and if you want to kill our enemy we can just Oh, we can just jump on the head and we can kill the enemy 
So uh, we got our knockback mechanism done, but we notice that our player is not dying. Okay, so we're gonna make it something like player will have two chances, and once the chances are over, the lives are over, health is over, our player dies. So for that, I'm going to add a variable here. I'm gonna name it like player health. And I'm going to give it number like two. Great. Player health is two. And so, uh, so the dissolve mechanism will work till the player. I'm also going to add another condition here like variable compare variable if this player health is not equal to zero yeah till that mechanism will work if the player health turns to zero yeah z sorry uh, i have to take this player health equal or less than or equal to zero my player is going to die so i have to just kill the platform behavior so that it falls down i have to just disable where the option went either this one yeah okay so now our player must die on second hit yeah it took the second hit also <laughs> hmm so i think we've missed out something we have to check it okay i did a mistake not we have to not disable the platform behavior we have to get rid of collision okay so we will disable this and let's see how it works now Our player didn't die because we forgot to add one more mechanism here that whenever our enemy is hit we have to reduce one player health one okay so I did a lot of mistakes today let's see I'm, I'm sure it should work right now yeah come enemy hit me okay yeah on the second hit our enemy died cool so uh, this small tutorial was about adding the knockback mechanism for our enemy for our player sorry not enemy and uh, adding a player health to this game so this was a short tutorial and in next tutorial we're going to add uh, the new scene when our player reaches to the door then a new scene starts the transition happens between this our game level so we're going to add levels in our next tutorial so see you soon if you like this video, please subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks.